I'm a mid-career uh, new student, and so I had been a medical journalist for 25 years, and I became increasingly interested in sort of how the mind fits in with the body in that formula of fighting disease and preventing disease. And so I was looking for a program that would give me a really rigorous evidence-based curriculum. I really felt like if I was going to be working with doctors, I needed a credential that they could respect. I felt that the program was very professional and uh, the standards are very high. It's just, it's a program that feels like a doctoral program. It doesn't feel like you're just sort of like undergrad plus. It feels like you are really being asked to go to the to the high limits of your abilities to do research and communicate your ideas and exchange ideas and be open to new ideas. Um, so yes, absolutely, it, it definitely gave me the professional kind of experience I was looking for. I just love the faculty here. I really. I consider them colleagues and friends. I consult with them now about issues that I confront or, or certain uh, patient situations. Uh, I just feel they're of the highest caliber and uh, demanding, but also very um, warm. I, I felt that they took every person as they were, as they presented to the program and accepted that. Uh, there's a great diversity uh, of ideas and of people, and it's just a very welcoming, wonderful faculty. And I also think they have very excellent credentials. They themselves have written books that I refer to, and uh, I really respect their judgment. I graduated from Antioch uh, in June of 2011. I was just finishing then my internship at a family medicine residency program in Los Angeles. Um, and then when I finished that, I embarked on two postdoctoral tracks, one working with children's mental health for the county of Santa Barbara, and the other in a private practice that also allowed me to see patients at the cancer center. So now I finished that final amount of hours of the 3,000 that you need before you can be licensed and I'm studying for the hardest of the two licensing exams, the uh, national EPPP, they call it. And this is an unbelievably rigorous exam. When you start studying for this, you start being grateful for the real depth of education that we had here. I think the best thing that I did was really keep my eye on where I wanted to be. What was I seeing myself doing in six or seven years that's now here, amazingly enough? Um, and was the program that I was looking at going to help me get in that direction? And sometimes I think you have to sit back a little bit and think, really, like if I'm seeing myself in a room, in a room full of doctors and social workers, and we're talking about someone who has a terminal illness, um, is the preparation that I got going to place me in that room in terms of communication skills, in terms of what I've learned, how I can research, how I can um, bring forward how psychology fits into that picture, because we're sort of a newcomer in that world. Um, and so I think that I made the right choice. I, I wanted to have a university that had really high academic standards. And even though it was very difficult at times along the way, I am so grateful for it now.